When you look at this powerful, strong-willed young woman now, it's hard to believe that Zendaya used to be a painfully shy child. She barely spoke a word during her first year in kindergarten. Her parents even attended seminars for the parents of timid kids. The little girl didn't like being around people. She would just sit in the circle with peers and be totally silent, her mother revealed. She eventually had to go to kindergarten twice because of this issue. If you could go back and tell 13-year-old Zendaya one thing, what would it be? It would probably be to follow your instincts and follow your gut because it's always right. According to People, even after becoming more confident later on, the girl faced a fair share of bullying in school. She confessed, however, that it didn't bother her much and credited her parents for teaching her to be comfortable with who she is. I was taught as a young child by my parents and family to love myself, and it's the same today. There are certain things that don't bother me. However, she learned something else in fifth grade, which is the power of action and inaction. When one of her classmates was bullied, she didn't defend that kid. She regrets not doing anything about it. She said, Knowing something is wrong and not doing anything is basically like doing it. It looks like it was the starting point of Zendaya becoming an activist. The actress is forever grateful to her parents and dad in particular for making her try performing on stage in front of the whole school at the age of eight. As Zendaya herself confesses, quote, It's history from there. Um, real. Who would you say is your role model growing up? My mom. And today, has it changed? No, it's still my mom. When she was just 13, the teen moved to Los Angeles together with her father, who quit his job as a teacher in order to help his child with career aspirations. Her mother stayed in Oakland, miles away from Zendaya, doing two jobs to support the family and allow her daughter to pursue her dreams. Some months later, talented Zendaya was offered one of the leading roles in a Disney show, but it was definitely very hard for the female teen to be far away from her mom during such a transitional phase of her life. She recalls, It was just me and my dad in an apartment in downtown LA. It was very difficult because I was dealing with all the pivotal girl moments. I remember getting my period and him not knowing what to do. It's worth noting that Zendaya has always praised her parents and appreciated them for all of their sacrifices and support. I gotta, you know, I gotta give it up to my parents. I'm really lucky to have the parents that I have and, you know, they just have always instilled in me those core values that I think I have carried with me through everything. Unfortunately, some people can't abstain from being mean in social media. One Twitter user posted a photo of Zendaya's parents, implying she is too pretty to come from her parents. Some more evil comments followed and one of the users even called them ugly. Zendaya herself, who actually loves communicating with fans online, didn't waste any time stepping in and shutting down the haters by writing the following. First, I'm gonna pray for you. While you're so concerned about what my parents look like, please know that these are two of the most selfless people in the world. They have chosen to spend their entire life not worried about trivial things such as looks and insulting people's parents on Twitter, but instead became educators who have dedicated their lives to teaching, cultivating, and filling young, shallow minds. We consider it just a perfect response. Sadly, it's not only online haters, but also public personalities who sometimes do not hesitate to make offensive jokes. In 2015, host Juliana Rancic commented on Zendaya's dreadlock she wore on the Oscars red carpet, saying that they make her look like she, quote, smells like patchouli oil or weed. It was one of those moments when Zendaya had to pull herself together again and speak up. In response to the insult, the 18-year-old wrote a very detailed explanatory post ending it with the words, I suggest some people should listen to India Ari's I Am Not My Hair and contemplate a little before opening your mouth so quickly to judge. Rancic sincerely apologized to the actress and vowed to use that situation as a learning experience. The Spider-Man star revealed some really sensitive information in the light of the Black Lives Matter movement that gained national attention following the brutal killing of African-American George Floyd. She spoke about the fear she had for her father in 2016, after two black men were shot dead by the police. I was extremely emotional, and I remember thinking about my dad, who was out picking up food at the time, and I started worrying and calling him like, are you okay? I didn't want him to go out and do anything. Now, being one of the highest-ranking celebrities, she supports the African-American community in her own creative way. The September issue of InStyle magazine will feature the multi-talented Zendaya and multiple black fashion designers on its cover. The actress and singer is eagerly taking advantage of the spotlight to show off a wardrobe stitched exclusively by black creators. Speaking of the height Zendaya has reached by her age, 
Did you know that despite the coronavirus outbreak that has affected even industry moguls, the actress has managed to increase her net worth by $10 million in just one year? Zendaya's work ethic is so strong that she has even been working in quarantine. Now, I suspect that these are rare for you, but if you had a full day off, what would you do with it? Nothing. I would do absolutely nothing. Zendaya cannot keep silent or indifferent to injustice. She confesses, There are so many things wrong, and I want to fix everything. It's like, what do I do? At age 16, she was working with nonprofit organization Convoy of Hope. She celebrated her 18th birthday with a campaign to raise money to feed starving children in Haiti. This is just to mention a few notable things the young influencer did. I bet Zendaya's feet smell like bunions. Let's check, shall we? Nope, smells like success to me. That's all for today. We hope you liked our video about the one and only Zendaya. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below. And do tell us which topics we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.